Hello everybody and welcome to Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian. So I'm outside uh, this place here. It's called the Genesis Centre and it's a place called uh, in Locks Heath which is uh, halfway between Southampton and Portsmouth in Hampshire. Uh, and my good friend Tyrone is hosting his uh, brick event here, the Hampshire Brick Event. Uh, it's the 28th of October. Um, he has loads of uh, things on sale, loads of things to look at, loads of things to do. It's quite a small venue but it's very, very popular. I came to this last year and it was excellent. Um, I've offered my services to help out so it's around about half eight in the morning they don't open till 10 so I'm going to I'm sort of given exclusive access as it were uh, while they're sort of setting up I'm going to help them a little bit as well and I'll be able to take some video of uh, how it all looks before the general public are let in so let's get inside and see where they're at so far right so they've let me in so nice and quiet so far so I'm actually helping Tyrone with his stand he's sort of busy running around doing stuff at the moment uh, this is all Tyrone stuff that he's selling here and I'm basically helping him uh, unpack all the boxes so we've got all stuff in boxes here as you can probably just see here and I'm helping just sort of stick them on the shelves uh, where best I see fit at the moment, but we'll sort it out properly in a bit. Right, I think that looks pretty good. Now, it's obviously not my own display, so I've had a bit of help as well, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty impressive. Well, there we go, and that's what it looks like from this side. So there's loads of different themes, loads of different sets. There's a load of Star Wars stuff um, here. And we sort of stack them up so they hopefully won't fall over. We've got superhero stuff, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World over here, more superheroes. So yeah, I think that looks pretty fantastic. Right, what I'll do now as well, before we uh, sort of let the general public in, I'll show you around sort of the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the event hall and show you what's, uh, what we, what's, uh, what's happening basically. So we've got this room over here, which has got generally minifigures in here, I think. We've got some poly bags as well. Again, there's such a selection of stuff. Uh, I'll sort of slowly try and pan around to sort of show you all the different sets. So we've got loads of poly bags here all different genres and at the top we've got some um, some minifigures some of them are very very reasonably priced as well some very very good prices on some of these and here are some of the uh, more sought after ones a lot of the Star Wars ones I'll try and go slowly so you can catch them all There we go, there's all sorts of things in here. Some superhero ones down here, all individually priced as well. I say there's some really cheap ones as well. Some pound of minifig for some of the smaller ones. Harry Potter stuff over here. And we've even got some more stuff over here. There's loads of posters here which you can buy. And there's more minifigures at the top. Absolutely loads of stuff. More posters there, and then we've got some more displays and some more. Slightly more exclusive poly bags over here. And we've even got some buckets of just random Lego pieces where I think the idea is you fill one of the pots, pick a brick, five pound a cup, fill your cup with as much as you can get. And there's all sorts of different pieces and bits and bobs in there. Some of the display pieces here. Uh, we've got this one here, this does light up. Got a rather nice Winter Village display here, which looks fabulous. I'll show you what that looks like. I like the spider on top of that one there. <laughs> and then we have some uh, some more displays here, and these ones uh, these are all made by Tyrone, so he's done all of these himself. With some more of these things. Now these <laughs> light up as you go down. Look, and I think there you go, these things move as well, so you can move things around. And see the back of the building so that's a friends display and we have nexo nights i think these have just got yeah these have all got sensors on the front so they light up and again things move it's all great because it's you know we bring, bring the kids down and you can let them sort of actually touch and play with these because a lot of these things when you go to these events you can't actually you're not allowed to touch anything or use anything so that's the drawbridge going in and off there Fantastic, and another friend's one down here. That just spins around. And there we have the Wizard of Oz. Tyrone's just put the lights on for me so you can see a little bit better. You can see my, my shadow behind. <laughs> but yeah, it looks fantastic. Right, so we've got some other display stuff here. There's Jack Skeleton here in a in sort of a Lego art form. Rather scary crocodile down there. We've got the dragon and a penguin. 
and there's a lion as well. So they're all behind perspex glass, so it just makes it easier that people can look at them without sort of touching them and destroying things. So that's a great idea. And we've even got a Star Wars diorama as well. I think this is probably supposed to be from the um, Empire Strikes Back, but that looks pretty good. So much detail in these things. And again, it's behind the perspex glass, so it just makes it easier to display things without uh, the thought of things getting destroyed or stolen or anything like that, which probably wouldn't happen, but you never know. And we have a few things here over, uh, which you can actually buy as well. So there's a non-Lego Santa Santa, so it's obviously made out of different bricks. That looks pretty good if you wanted that for a Christmas display. We have the fish tank here. So that's uh, very, very detailed. And we even have uh, Mickey Mouse as well. I think these are all mocks, so these, none of these are official products, but that looks pretty good. Right, and we've got another stall here. And so there's loads of minifigs again on here, all sort of individually priced on there. There's all sorts of stuff. There's poly bags at the front. And we've got some stuff at the side here as well, sort of all Lego related. And then there's a huge display at the back. Loads of seal sets there. And we have some smaller builds and things down here. All really, really interesting stuff. Lego heads. So these are all for sale as well. So a lot of these look like they're sort of mocks, myo creation type things. There's some really nice ideas here. Lots of pumpkins because Halloween's only a few days away, of course. And then we've got more stuff over here. Some tattoos. If you want to get yourself a tattoo, there's some spares here, car tires, and Technic pieces. Some minifigures there as well. We've even got some of these, so yeah, they are Lego. And some larger sets as well. Got some more sets over here. And then as we continue round, you can even buy a copy of the Mona Lisa in Lego style, which is great. So a lot of the stuff is for sale, some of it's not. We've also got the Eiffel Tower. Now this won't be for sale, but that's such an amazing figure. And then over here there's a lucky dip. So basically you've got a load of straws in here, you pick the straw. Three straws for a pound, and if you pick up uh, three straws and yours has got blue on the end of it, like that, you win a prize. So let's see if I can win. Oh, I didn't win. Never mind. So let's put that back in there. we go in. And then behind here we have a few more sets. Right, so it's about 15 minutes before we're opening. You can see there's quite a queue of people already. It's only a pound to get in. There's a guy waving at me there. So, uh, so there's a few people waving, waiting to get in. So we've got a couple of giveaways as well. So this is going to be given away at 12 noon uh, and this away at 2 p.m. So the giveaway free stuff as well, which is great. And also if you spend over a certain amount, so if you spend over a hundred pounds, then you're going to get this here with a sort of classic um, poly bag. And uh, is this a poster behind there? Yeah. yeah. And we've also got this Star Wars to so spend over £75 on anything, and you get this little Star Wars freebie as well. So they're always doing loads of uh, frees and giveaways and stuff like that, which is brilliant. So this is the front entrance here, and uh, so what, what have you got to give away when people so, come in? So people come in, they're only paying pounds, but you get a free gift. Yeah. Uh, there's some colouring books yeah. and stuff like that. And when we run out of them, we've got loads of uh, homers and posters. Oh, lovely. From, um, Hidden, everything. So yeah. So that'd be given away. So anyone, that's, that's to anybody that comes in. That's so basically in. the first lot of people that come first in. Uh, yeah. And I say it's only a pound to get in. It is. And I just wanted to point out as well that Tyro has actually got his own YouTube channel now. Yes, it's Snoop Love Bricks, um, and I've basically done another video uh, further on from Ian's showing everything that um, when you did a tour from my yeah. place that we did missed little different things we missed and yeah. some ideas of how to build, how to collect 
on, on my channel. So, so what I'll, yeah, what I'll do at the end of this video or in the comments section, I'll leave a description, a link to the description to his YouTube channel if you want to go and check that out. That'd be marvellous. Thanks. So just need to wait for the doors to open now. Uh, not long. Uh, so I'm just going to hang around for a little while, see here, see sort of how busy it gets in here. I know last time it got very, very busy. Uh, it's quite a small hall and uh, there's obviously a lot of people want to come and see this stuff. Uh, but I said there's loads of stuff to buy and some really really good prices in here as well which is great to see and uh, I think Tyrone's done a great job I think sort of events like these if you sort of organise them yourself which he pretty much is it's obviously got a few helpers around it's, uh, it's hard work uh, but he, uh, I say a lot of his prices are very very reasonable and uh, so there's certainly some, uh, some decent things to be had Right we're opening First people through the door And as you can see, there's a really big queue. It's a bit sunny. Sun's out. At least it's not raining because it was tipping down with rain last night. Queue goes all the way around there. Right, as you can see, the doors have opened. We've got a few people in already. It's not too busy at the moment. But uh, yeah, things are selling reasonably well. People are buying stuff and having a look around. Right, so around about quarter to 11 now. So there's still a bit of a queue outside. It's very, very busy in there now, but uh, obviously the queue is starting to die down. Uh, I've said my goodbyes. So uh, anyway, yeah, this is a really nice event. If you ever get the chance to come to one of these, they're normally held here once a year, but have a look for um, Hampshire Brick Events. I'll put a link, as uh, a Facebook page, and I'll put a link in the description at the end of this video as well. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. If you're sort of local to this area, it's certainly something that's definitely worth coming down to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you then. Take care. Bye for now.